So up to this point, we have our uh, quiz user interface completed, uh, the HTML and the CSS, and we also implemented um, some click events for when we answer a question. We can scroll through and then the next question in the line will pop up once we submit. But we're not actually submitting, we're not actually doing anything when we submit these questions. So what we want to do is create a function called process, or it could be called whatever you want, that will take the question and compare it to the correct answer that we have in the session storage variable. All right, so if we look at quiz.js, uh, we, we run the init function, which sets all the correct answers. And we can see that if we go to Chrome tools and then to resources and session storage, you can see that we have the key for each answer along with the actual answer. All right, so let's do that. So down here, I'm going to escape the uh, document ready function so right about here and I'm just going to create a new function process the answers and I'm just going to call this process okay now this process function is going to take a, uh, a parameter and it's basically going to be the question okay so whichever question and what I mean by that is Q1, Q2 uh, all the way up to Q5. Okay, so what it's going to do is then look at the question. We're going to say if Q is equal to question one. All right, so that way we know that this is going to process question one. Uh, we're going to create a variable called submitted. And we're going to set that to the value that's checked off. All right. So, for instance, this here, if we if we check this header, and then we take a look at the HTML, um, you can see that it has a value of B. So that's what's going to be submitted as B, and we want that to be in this variable. So to do that, we can use jQuery. And we're going to say input. All right, so input, and then we're going to use some brackets and say name equals Q1. And um, you can see that all of the inputs in the first question, they all have the same name of Q1. Okay, so what we want to do is get the, the whichever one's checked. That's the what that's what we want to look for. So to do that, we can say right here we can say checked. All right, and then we want to say dot val, which is a jQuery function that'll get the the actual value, which is a, b, c, or d right here. All right, so it's going to get what we submit, and what we want to do is after we set this variable of whatever is submitted we want to compare it to the correct answer for question one. All right, so we have our answers up here set in A1 through A5. All right, so right under here, we're going to do a little if statement. And we're going to say if submitted uh, is equal to session storage dot a1. All right, so we're comparing the submitted value to the value in the session storage variable. Okay, so if they're correct, if they have the correct answer, then we're going to take the score variable and we're just going to increment it. All right, so it'll be incremented by one if it's a right answer. If not, then it won't do anything. It'll just move on to the next one. All right, so basically what we can do is just grab this whole thing and we can copy it five times. And then we just want to change the questions. Now this is very repetitive and that's kind of a, a no-no in programming. Um, and I'm aware of that. 
and at the end in the next chapter I'm sorry in the next section we're gonna simplify both of these all right that this um, the click handlers up here as well as the process function we're gonna use a loop so that we can only we can uh, just write this once instead of printing it out so many times like this all right so q2 if it's q2 then we want to compare it to the session variable for question two um, and this one will be three four and five one two three four five and we also want these names changed as well all right so I think that will do it all right now the way we have it now this is fine we have a process function but we're not calling it anywhere so what we want to do is go up here and after each click we want to call the process function okay so right here when the first question submitted we want to run process and we want to pass in the correct uh, use single quotes we want to pass in the correct question uh, which in this case is question one okay so when we click on the submit button for question one it's going to cause every other question to hide and it's going to show the question two it's going to also then process question one all right actually we should probably put the process before the fade in before we bring in the next question all right so that's all we need to do here um, question two process question three question four and question five okay so that'll process every question now what we want to do is when we pass question five that's going to be the end of the quiz so we want to add a little something in here all right so right after I'm sorry in here so right after we increase the score well actually right after we compare the question we process it we're going to um, use jQuery and grab the results div and we're going to add some information to it some HTML okay so let's say h3 I'm going to say your final score is and then we want to concatenate the score so we want to just use our plus signs to concatenate and then go back to text so score out of five and we're also going to create a link if they want to take if they want to take the quiz again so a this is just going to go to index.html all right uh, and we'll make this say take quiz again okay close that link and then under here we're just going to say return false all right and that should be it all right so this isn't the most optimized code like I said uh, we will fix it or make it um, just more optimal I guess and easier to read so I'm going to save this and let's just see if this works let's reload Okay, so header, cookies, article. Let's get one wrong on purpose. All right, so your final score is four out of five. Now we have a little mistake here. We don't want this um, A tag to show. Let me just see what we did. 
carry the H3, move that A back. So that must must have been it. All right, so let's try this again. We'll just go through them. All right, so your final score is zero out of five. If you want to take it again, you can. All right, so our quiz is now functioning. Um, I want to do just a couple more things. Like I said, we're gonna uh, optimize our code so it's not so repetitive. Um, and I also want to create where um, let's say the user got a one out of five we could say you need some work or if they got five out of five we could say you're an HTML5 master or something like that alright so we'll implement that in the next section